powerful words today at the funeral of Devante Mitchell at Holy Redeemer Church. Mitchell died more than a week ago after an altercation with hotel security at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Milwaukee. Fox 6's Bria Jones joins us here in studio after being at today's emotional service. Bria? Ben, Steph, Devante Mitchell was a son, father, and husband. Tonight, the employees involved in the altercation have been fired, but while saying their final farewell, his family let it be known their fight for justice is just beginning. Songs of hope. Yes! Yes, he is. Words of encouragement. I know he see the love, and I know he's seeing everything that we're doing for him, and I know he's smiling down. And now Devontae Mitchell's mother's cries for justice, getting national attention at his celebration of life. We want justice for Devontae. That's, That's what Devante. we want. That's what we want. Mitchell died on June 30th. Graphic videos show security personnel at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, pinning Mitchell down in downtown Milwaukee. The 43-year-old was a son, father of two, and husband. My heart is so heavy. <sighs> I just want to remember, I want to remember the best parts of him. And I want you to know your daddy was somebody. Delivering the eulogy, Reverend Al Sharpton at Holy Redeemer Church. You should not lose just your job when Devante lost his life. What they did was a crime. And criminals need to be prosecuted. Sharpton and attorney Ben Crump believe the case mirrors the gut bridging death of George Floyd. We are here because of the unnecessary, the unjustifiable, and the unconstitutional killing of Devontae Mitchell. Crump sat down exclusively with Fox 6 following the funeral to talk the next steps in the walk for justice. We now know those employees have been fired. What else would you like to see happen to them? Well, obviously, you want justice. I mean, you killed a human being. You took his life, and it was senseless. And Ben Steph, right now the family is calling for the community to continue to join them in their fight for justice. I know live on the air yesterday, Bria, Ben Crump said today would be for mourning. Yes. Tomorrow they're going to be back protesting again. Exactly. They say they want people to continue to come out to the higher Regency daily, they say, to fight for justice for Devontae. Do you know if that protesting is going to continue through next week? I mean, it's a big week for Milwaukee. And I know the Hyatt the, the High uh, Regency Hotel is just outside the yes. perimeter. And see, that was another big thing. They were saying, you know, they know that the RNC is coming. It's, it's just a few days away, but they tell us that this is not just an inconvenience, that Devontae's life was much more important than anything, any event that's coming to town. So yeah. they want people to continue to come out there. And this is becoming a national story. There's a lot of cameras about to come to town for the right. RNC, too. So, all right, Bria, thanks. Now to the investigation one day after protests. A community activist says action is needed to bring justice for Mitchell's family. If it means picketing uh, D.A. Chisholm's office, which I'm sure we will be doing, uh, we'll be picketing his office. If it means more marches, if it means uh, calling on our city officials to get involved, uh, whatever it takes. That is Brian Verdon, the education chair for the Milwaukee Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression. Verdon says justice means there needs to be changes as well as indictments. People also probably need to go to jail. He says they're following the family's wishes on how to proceed forward. A spokesperson at Ambridge Hospitality is responding, saying in part the conduct from several associates violated their policies and procedures. Following review of their actions, the employment has been terminated of those security guards.